All right, guys. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how to set up an Interactive Brokers account and how to connect it into NinjaTrader. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, go to interactivebrokers.com. And up at the top here, you'll see these two buttons, open an account. Of course, in this case, you want to start an application. Now, there's a bunch of different kinds of uh, accounts you can have. Just for simplicity, let's just create a basic individual account. And this will walk you through a series of questions about who you are, uh, your funds, uh, username, password, all kinds of stuff. And so you're going to start filling this out. It is uh, multiple pages to fill this out. Once you have done that, uh, you will get an email which contains your login information. So that's uh, the first step. Um, the second step in my case is I also want it on my phone. So I went to the app store. Uh, I happen to have an a, uh, iPhone. So I went to the Mac or the Apple app store. I type in IBKR. And this very first one is what I downloaded, obviously, on my iPhone in order to install it and in order to get it to work on my phone. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is, of course, install on my phone and then take my username and password and log in on my iPhone. Log in there. Uh, then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to Google uh, download IB Gateway. And IB Gateway is basically the little communication piece that connects your specific NinjaTrader account to the IB Gateway that connects to Interactive Brokers. It is just a little standalone uh, software tool. Not a lot to it. You just basically click this button to download it. It does look something like this. Right here, boom, let's see, where'd it go? There we go, it looks something like this. And it basically allows you, you enter your username and password and allows NinjaTrader to communicate with interactive brokers. This is similar to uh, some other tools that you guys have seen as well. So then once I've done that, then what I wanna do is I wanna, once I have my username and password, then I wanna go in here and I want to go into my connections Oops, sorry, go to tools and options and make sure, make sure you have this multi-provider, which is right here. Make sure you have this enabled, right? This is needs to be checked, which means you can have multiple accounts. Multi-provider needs to be checked, okay? So then the next step is, then once you've done that, then you're going to go to your connections. You're going to go to configure and what you're going to do is you're going to go down here to interactive brokers. You're going to double click on that. And what that'll do is that'll uh, bring an option down here and you'll call it my interactive brokers. And then what you're going to do is you're basically going to say, yes, connect on startup. If that's what you want, you're going to enter your username and your password right here. Now there are some other settings changes. I'm going to share with my screen with you and I'm going to first kind of remove my password. So you guys, uh, my username and password, so you guys don't necessarily get to, use that hack into my account so i'll rename some of this and call it username here okay so basically what you're going to do you call it uh, instead of my interact bro just call it interactive brokers username here password there in this case i'm connecting through the gateway so i set that up to gateway this is going to be the ib gateway so i'm going to pick where that file is where it's installed on my hard drive remember that is a uh, something we downloaded previously, uh, the client ID zero host is basically localhost 127.0.0.1. Basically what you see here, log level, I'm going to look at errors. And then the port gateway 4002, I believe is for paper trading. 4001 is for live trading. So obviously you want to paper trade, make sure everything works before you switch to live. Uh, and then I have these two, uh, two check boxes at the bottom set up and configured. So once you've done that, uh, now what you're able to do is you're now able to go in Let me close this screen and uh, you're able to now go into interactive brokers itself and actually log in. So the first thing you do here is go up here to login and it'll say portal login. Uh, you're going to go ahead and log in. And because I have the app, uh, installed on my phone. You'll see here that it does show the IAB key. So it's basically saying, hey, do you want to confirm that you're going to log in over here? 
And of course, I'm going to click authorize, click authorize, and, and then in a sec, it'll redirect to my screen. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now that I'm logged in, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna go up to the top. I have a few hundred bucks in here just to get started. And I wanna go up here and I want to uh, go to my home and I want to, let's see, where is it at? First thing I wanna do is I want to move some funds, right? So I wanna go to transfer, transfer funds. Now, if you don't have a bank account on file, obviously you would add that since a brand new account, you would have that already select. And then you want to go ahead and link your bank account. So in my case, I have a bank account linked and then I'm gonna move some funds. I do recommend, they don't have a minimum, but I do recommend maybe about 500, $600 just to start. Now, Matt, why aren't you gonna move a whole, whatever amount you want? You certainly can. Uh, what I like to do is kind of do in two pieces. I wanna make sure I'm, moving uh, enough just to get the uh, the funds in place to unlock some real-time rate quotes, make sure NinjaTrader is working with that. And so you're able to do that. I, I recommend in doing it in two pieces. So uh, I believe they have like a $250 is, is like, um, they'll do that almost immediately. Anything more than that, $250, it does take three to five business days. Uh, when I moved $500, for some reason, it took five business days. I don't know why. The money came out of my account immediately but it took about a week for them to recognize it and credit my account. Uh, actually, I recommend you do a little bit more than what you need because you will be paying a few dollars a month for those real-time rates. And that's super important if you wanna run back tests or super important if you want real-time rates to trade with, okay? So the next thing you're gonna need to do is obviously decide how much you wanna transfer now, go ahead and set that up, go ahead and wait the three to five days, let that, uh, transfer and fund your account. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna then come back in here, you're gonna log out. Of course, many days will go by and then you wanna come back in. And what you wanna do is you're gonna to want to enable your real-time rates. Once you are, once your funds have transferred, you wanna go back in and log in and you wanna go up here to the top where it says welcome and you're gonna click on the settings screen to come to something like this. Now, this is how you enable the real-time rates. Again, you it will not allow you, to, it'll say, hey, we saved your settings, but it doesn't actually take until you have funds in your account. I don't know why it lets you make the changes and then doesn't save it, because it that is not, um, it's not normally how you would think about it, um, but you go into market data subscriptions, make sure that you are set to a non-professional, so you're not paying huge fees. And uh, a few, there's a lot of things that they do give you for free. So all these where it says fee waived, um, I didn't actually enable these. These just came for free. So I'm like, okay, great, fine, whatever. Uh, but I am paying for these three things here, the NASDAQ, the NYSE, and formerly known as Amex, the NYSE, or some people say NYSE American. And so enable to, in order to enable that, you basically click configure and you're gonna check the things you want Right, you're going to go down, scroll down, and uh, click. In this case, you'll see under level one MB, uh, see down under subscriptions, the MBBO, and you'll see kind of what I have selected here. It's a dollar fifty a month. It's not terrible. The uh, New York Stock Exchange NYC and the NYC American, formerly known as Amex, and then uh, some of these are waived. So these are kind of auto def uh, check for me. So that's how you enable the real-time rates. Now, once you've done that, and once you have real-time rates uh, set up and configured, and you have NinjaTrader now installed and connected and working, of course, what you're gonna do then is you're gonna go ahead and log into your IB gateway, which is this little deal here. And I'm gonna go ahead and log into that real quick and show you guys how that works and uh, we'll go ahead and connect to that. And the first time I log in, it's asking me again to log in and it's gonna ask me, use that IB key on your phone, click authorize, and then boom, we are logging in and everything should come across as green. 
uh, in order for this to be up and working, meaning I'm, I'm connecting to interactive brokers, API, the market data, historical data farm. So if you got to that far, you are good to go. So the next step then, oops, ask me to do one more time. Let's do that one more time. Boom, check, appear, appro approved. Boom, boom, there we go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I'm connected, it's gonna take a sec. And it does seem to take a little bit. I, I wanna say last time it took about 15, 20 seconds to connect. Again, we're trying to connect to the interactive brokers connection that we tried previously. Alrighty, and so we are finally connected. So now if I wanted to, I'm able to open up my strategy analyzer which is inside of the control center. So if I open up my Ninja Trader, go to new strategy analyzer, I can launch this window. I have some favorites saved across the bottom. So now if I wanted to run some of my bots, run some back tests against, uh, let's just say Tesla, for example, I can now uh, enter Tesla and I can now run some back tests against Tesla. So in this case, the only thing I will warn you and note is that uh, you have to run a one minute uh, for interactive brokers. For whatever reason, it does not provide tick data. Uh, if you want tick data, you do have to subscribe to another tool called Kinetic, which I do also subscribe to. I think it's like $14 a month, but for me, it's worth it so that I can have some accurate, super highly accurate granular back tests and they work uh, as expected. So in this case, now if I wanted to run um, a bot uh, I don't even know what this is set to Tesla on a five minute chart, uh, risking $500, a maximum of, I don't know, maybe 2000 shares every day of the week. I can now uh, for the month of September, kind of pick that, figure out what I want to run, click run. And now remember, I am doing this on a one minute interactive brokers. If you pick one tick, it does not work. Why? I've already downloaded the data, but if it does not work, why? Because it is only available at the one minute, okay? If you want something else a little more granular, you would also subscribe to Kinetic, which I will make a separate video on, stay tuned on how to do that. But in this case, I can run some tests on all the different things related uh, to uh, this strategy. And just like everything else, I can run all my normal back tests, but now I'm not looking at just features, I'm actually now looking at stocks. So I've wanted to try Nvidia, for example, haven't done that, I can run a quick one minute. You'll see some profits, some things coming through, meaning the connection is up and running and working as expected. The other thing I can do is I can also now launch a chart. So if your charts aren't loading with the stocks you wanna trade in this case, let's look at NVIDIA on a five minute. It should now load the actual data. It shouldn't say connecting, it should actually load it. And uh, this is kind of showing uh, kind of a background of the data here. For my chart for NVIDIA, obviously, if I wanted to switch that to, um, I don't know, 15 minute, I can do that here. I can change this up pretty easily using uh, some of the shortcuts. If I want to go over to five minutes or one minute, I'm able to do that as well. And you guys are seeing that it's communicating, it's pulling the data through uh, as expected. And um, that is how this works with, uh, with the Interactive Brokers connection. And now finally, the last and final piece here is what it is to actually, once you're happy with everything, the best, the next thing you would need to do is actually transfer funds. So take some of your funds in order to trade stocks on an on a interactive, on interactive brokers on a day trade basis, you will need a minimum of $25,000. That's not Matt's rule. That is the pattern day trade rule, of course. And that does allow you to take five round trips every three days. So it does allow you, I'm sorry, I said it backwards, three round trips every five days. So a round trip is a trade to get in and out of. And so it tracks that. The easiest thing to do, of course, is to transfer a little bit more than $25,000 if if you have the funds. Obviously, if you transfer $25,000 exactly and you lose $1, you're now below that threshold and you'll get warnings and it'll limit your capacity to, uh, for the bots to take trades. I, I recommend maybe 30,000 if you can uh, if you can do that at a minimum of course that does take another uh, in order to transfer that you go back into that same account transfer some more funds and it does take a week or two to uh, for the money to leave your bank account and show up in your interactive brokers account 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you connect the Interactive Brokers connection to NinjaTrader. Thanks.